unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you've probably heard of Brutal Doom. It's a mod that takes what is already a hyper-violent joyride and takes it to the point of flat-out ludicrousy. Originally created way back in 2010, it's now one of the most popular mods for id Software's classic shooter, with even Carmack himself praising it at one time. Instead of trying to mess with what is already a solid formula, Brutal Doom just does exactly what it sounds like. It makes things, well, brutal. All of the weapons have been totally reskinned and restyled to fit a more fast-paced style of gameplay, but they've managed to keep the pixel art somewhat consistent with Vanilla Doom, which is a good thing. The chain gun is probably the most over-the-top weapon out of the entire arsenal, sending blood sprays in every single direction. You can even get your hands on the rocket launchers that the Revenants use. Aside from Doom Guy's basic weapons, he can also let off a quick kick, similar to Duke's Mighty Boot from Duke Nukem 3D. The Berserker power-up now allows you to go through two different modes of killing, Smash Mode, which is as it sounds, and Rip and Tear Mode, which pulls the camera out to a third-person perspective, as you mercilessly execute an enemy, stomping on their skull, or holding them down and punching the ever-loving shit out of them. Everything has been modified to feel much larger than life, more so than it already was. Explosive barrels are now utterly devastating, enemies move and attack much quicker, and damage sustained is displayed by cracks and shatters which appear all over the heads up display. This makes Brutal Doom a much harder experience than its vanilla counterpart, and it even offers up new difficulty modes, which are sure to keep even the most seasoned of Doom veterans on their toes. Combine these difficulties with increased enemy speeds and you've got some seriously hardcore gaming. It is a little bit cheap at times, as even the most basic enemies are able to bring on some serious pain. The Imps, for instance, can now leap a short distance and swipe at you for some pretty heavy damage. But then again, that's kind of the whole essence of the mod, so you can't really knock it for that. Of course, I could go through listing every single change, but half the fun is finding it out for yourself when you're playing. The only thing I would complain about is the reloading mechanic they've implemented. Doom isn't the type of game where you want to have to worry about reload times. The shotgun, for instance, I think can hold maybe six or so shells before it runs dry. And this is fine and all, but it's just not the type of thing that lends itself to this fast-paced gameplay, where you're often backed into a corner with lots of enemies barrowing down on you. But still, I wouldn't have any problems recommending this mod to pretty much everyone. If for some bizarre reason you didn't like the original game, then this is hardly going to win you over. The Lost Souls are still as annoying as ever, and the Barons of Hell are still quite fond of blocking doorways like total pricks, but that's not really at the fault of the mod. If you haven't played the original Doom, in which case I ask you what the hell you've been doing with your life, then you should really check that out first. But Brutal Doom as it is, is still a great time sink and worthy of every gamer's attention. There's no checkpoints, regenerating health or any of that shit, it's just good old fashioned retro shooting with explosions of blood, loud impactful gunfights, and a difficulty mode that will bring anyone to their knees. The best way to play this is by cheating your ass off and getting all the weapons from the get-go. I managed to get the mod running with GZ doing without any hiccups whatsoever, and it's simply a matter of downloading the mod file and dragging it over an executable to get it all working. It also works with Doom 2 and Final Doom, so what the fuck are you waiting for?